What's up, guys? I'm Michael Moore, and this is my last lecture. As a child, I didn't dream of being a WIU student studying hospitality management. My dreams consisted of being an astronaut or a pilot. I don't want to work 60 hours a week. That'd be like prison. I planned on inventing stuff, making millions, and not working a day in my life besides for the occasional manned mission to the moon. I came up with ideas like a pillow that was always cold. I settled for opening the window during the winter and blasting the AC during the summer. My second invention now is a real winner. This one was an anti-gravity sleeping chamber. I got as far as making an amazing mental prototype. But I didn't really know where to begin after that. So, obviously, you can see that I come up with my best ideas while sleeping, and that's important. Anyway, one day I grew up a little bit, and I realized that while these dreams were great, I needed something practical, a solid plan to fall back on just in case they didn't pan out. I still had faith, but in case they didn't pan out. It was along, well, it was along these lines that I decided to become a Power Ranger, and I devoted my pre-adolescence to this dream. Me and some trusted companions, we scoured playgrounds everywhere, and we, we fought the evil that plagued them. We did a, we did a very good job, and our imaginary, imaginary world had a lot, and a lot of bad guys that, that we captured. I never did become a Power Ranger, and not for lack of trying, I can assure you that. My career really just didn't launch. <laughs> amazing thing happened. Harry Potter came out. Now, I was lucky enough to only be about nine years old when I read the first book. And as everyone knows, your Hogwarts wizard letter comes when you're 11. So I still had a dream, and it was attainable. Then, my 11th birthday came and went without a letter from Hogwarts. Now, these dreams may be silly and far-fetched, but they were real. And they were mine. So standing here today, knowing that my specific childhood dreams are nearly unattainable, still I have not given up. Because while these specific dreams are unattainable, I can still fulfill the underlying desires that these dreams were created to fulfill. So I'm going to explain how. I have or plan to achieve these dreams without going to space, getting my pilot's license, inventing crazy sleep-related gadgets, ever suiting up as a Power Ranger, and without a Hogwarts diploma, although that one still keeps me up at night and I'm still a little depressed, 